Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you saw yesterday's video, you know today's video is about cleaning out my closet. Or possibly you know that from the title? I haven't decided yet. So here's the thing. When you gain weight, you gotta buy clothes. When you lose weight, you gotta get rid of those clothes and buy new clothes. I have been buying new clothes, but I need to get rid of some old ones again. It was about six months ago that I went through my closet. And it was basically all the hang up stuff and all of that stuff right there, which is now a complete mess again. I'm short, it's hard for me to, to reach there. I'm five foot four, and I have lost roughly 25% of my body weight since my beginning of my journey. I'm gonna say a year and a half ago, even though I did it six months ago and it was roughly like 10 pounds heavier. The more weight you lose at a smaller size is a bigger percentage of your body weight that is lost. Therefore, the sizing is gonna change rapidly once you get out of the double XLs, which I was in. So I need to figure out what I've been holding on to that's too big. Uh, I also need to clean that all over again. I don't need to work on the hanging up stuff. I think I'm pretty good on that. It's all been, you know, hung up. <laughs> I'll revisit it in a few more months. <laughs> but for now, for today, we're gonna do these. Oop. We're gonna go through these drawers here. This is my socks and underwear, so you know, I'm not going through that with you guys. This is my athleta wear. I know I'm good on that so far. And there are some skirts and shorts and just folding in general that I need to go through. I'm not trying them on, it's too damn hot. That's why you guys can hear the outside is because the window's open, because it's hot. We'll just go through as much as I want to today, because because why not? So I think I have put on my ugliest pair of shorts. They are unflattering in all the ways. If I wanna keep a shirt while wearing these, it means it's a good shirt, I think. So, I guess we just dump it all on the ground. I'm realizing I may have too many sweaters. So, rather than me try these on, I'm just gonna look at them and go, I love it, I hate it, I'll fold it, I'll put it away and possibly talk to you guys while I'm doing that. I don't really have much to say today though. So on days like this where I am blogging, I don't have the most entertaining things to say, I'm aware. It's just for us to hang out. 
Sometimes people just like having a familiar face say hello, which is the goal on Vlogmas. Reconnect with some people, give you guys that familiar daily vlog that I used to do for about three months, three whole months. <laughs> Get used to talking to the camera again and just kind of show you guys what I do to stay physically healthy, nutritionally healthy, mentally healthy, all that jazz. I'm realizing I really love sweaters. I have a ton of sweaters and none of them I want to get rid of, which I don't have to because they're mine. No one's forcing me to, so I won't. When I live on a boat, um, I will need to, yes. But for now, it's fine. It is hot, you guys, very hot. I don't want to get rid of any of these sweaters. Okay, we're just gonna keep all the sweaters. Even though I plan on living on a boat and we plan to sail to beautiful locations with pretty warm temperatures. So I definitely won't be needing these sweaters. But oh well, for now I do. I mean, the real question is, can one ever really have too many sweaters? Oh, I will also link um, what I use to do the calculation, the body percent calculation in the description box below, just in case you guys are also on a weight loss journey and wanna see your percentage. Do not get discouraged by it because it's going to be a lot lower than, than the weight that you've lost. It is, in terms of me thinking about it, I think about it this way. I have lost one fourth of me as a five foot four person. When I think about it that way, instead of, oh, 25% is such a small number, how much of me did I want to lose? Half of me? I don't know if I needed to lose half of me. I, I definitely was obese. When I am at my goal weight, I will be at 47% of me is to have been exercised and dieted off. I am a little bit over 25% gone. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I should be saying that differently, I know, but I don't know how to put it. Oop, there is a spider. So fun fact about me, I am very afraid of spiders. Very afraid. But also this one's eety beady. I don't want it touching me, so I will go get a container for it. But I have actively spent time learning about spiders and I recognize that they are no threat to me. This is not a Brazilian wandering spider. It is an itty bitty house spider. I don't know what kind, it's just itty bitty house spider. And I saw a guy actually handle a Brazilian wandering spider and it posed no threat. As long as he was moving as the spider's environment and not making sudden movements, not scaring the spider. I mean, I wouldn't suggest you do it, but it proved that the spider is not just out there to attack and destroy. Oh, and I lost him. Maybe I should get up and go get that Tupperware. He's either on me or in something. Well, I'm gonna have to hope that he found a place to hide. Oh, I found him. Okay, I'll be right back because I can't handle it. I cannot handle him being in here. Okay. Ah, okay. He's a little baby. I know, but I can't handle it. Give me a piece of paper. Well, I was going to let him walk into the cup. Okay. Uh, like a postcard. I don't have a postcard. Who has postcards? Yay! You did it. He's a little baby. No. He is friendly. He did nothing wrong. I just can't have him in my space. Because the thought of him going on me, I cannot handle. I just cannot handle it. I, 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 I know so much about spiders. I know so much about spiders. They intrigue me. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're interesting. I can't have them on me. Okay, so folding sweaters turned into spider talk for a hot minute. Now I just have to attempt to put them back up there without them all falling down on top of me. I need more water. It's very hot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm a little out of breath because the post office delivered a very big box that was a block away to the wrong house. I had to go return it in the heat. It was very big. Uh, also, if you guys are interested about learning more about spiders, I recommend Tarantula Cat. I really like how she talks about the different enclosures they need. She goes into a bit about the spider's personality types. And if you wanted a more deep dive channel to watch, I don't know the name exactly. I'll pop it up here, but I believe it is These Are the Spiders in Your House. He goes into really in-depth information about, like say, oh, you wanna learn about cellar spiders. He's gonna go over everything about cellar spiders and their cousins. Whew, it is hot. We're, we're turning on a fan because it's, it's something, something hot in here. Oh, I have a cat. Unfortunately, meow meow. Say hello and goodbye. 
Okay, so there will be a gentle humming in the background. It's ASMR. Also, if you guys think I recommend way too many channels, let me know. I am just sharing with you guys kind of what I do in a day as a daily vlog, and a lot of it is watching videos. I love YouTube like beyond belief. What other platform is gonna allow an individual to be a movie maker and send it out to the world to see? It gives people a platform to make creations, and I think I'm just obsessed with how beautiful that is, honestly. So, <laughs> channels that put work into their creations their content. I'm going to recommend one because I enjoy them and two because it's not like they need me to shout them out but I'm gonna anyways because why not? If someone finds them enjoyable through my channel, why not? <laughs> but yes, self-admittedly I spend way too much time watching YouTube videos every day. Half of that is for inspiration. We're just gonna go through this. There's tops, there's bottoms, there's shorts, there's leggings, there's tank tops, there's tees. All summer do beesers. Some not are summer so I won't be trying them on, it's too hot. All right, first this, obviously I'm wearing it. I like it, it's staying. Also, I cannot tell you guys where most of this stuff came from. I'm a value village shopper, I'm a thrifty. I like a good deal, I don't like to pay a lot of money. So I don't know what half these brands are or where they came from. I loved this shirt when I was a little bit heavier. I thought I would like it more once I lost weight. I do not, it just fits funny now, but I think it is so much fun. I'm going to go ahead and give this back to Value Village so someone else can enjoy it. Also remember guys, if you are giving to a secondhand store or whatever, turn it inside out. Make sure that they are just washed. I mean, I did just put it on for like 2.2 seconds, but they're washed. It's the right side out. I'm going to fold it. It's just going to make it easier on the people who have to do the job of sorting through it. Tank top. It's just a jersey tee, so I'm not going to try these on. These are my like shirts that I <laughs> I walk around the house in with my underwear while it's blistering hot outside, so I know I want them and I know I have a lot of them, so we're just we're just gonna ignore these guys. I hate it. It's a no. This is a 3XL. I didn't like how it clung to my stomach. I thought I'd like it more now that I have lost weight. It's a 3XL. It just does nothing for me. It is bunching at the stomach, but that's probably because I stretched it out right here, so maybe someone else will like it. Doesn't fit right anymore. But it's so much fun. Crop top. Next. I love this shirt. I'm never getting rid of it. Worst comes to worst, it's a cleaning shirt. I love this shirt. It does fit. But I can admit that I do not have the confidence to wear something this cropped. I don't, I don't like how cropped it is. I feel like I might as well just be wearing a bralette. Yep. This one's a keeper. I do love this shirt, but I have to admit, I hate sleeves. It, it feels weird on the arm and I don't like it. Honestly, I couldn't even give this one away if I wanted to. I have cut it up. It's not nice to give away cut up things. So it will stay even as just a cleaning shirt. I actually bought this one recently. I still love it. I just haven't had a reason to wear it. So I do love this shirt. I love how it looks, but I am facing the sleeves are a bit uncomfortable issue. So it's a go. I have lots of crop tops. I actually have a whole pile over here in the exact same design as the one that I started out with, only in different colors. This one, the material is like horrible. I had never realized how bad this material is until it got hot and I could feel it sticking to my skin. I love this shirt. It's a piggy. It's cute. It does have wording underneath it that may allude to it being a shirt for vegans. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Um, I'm not gonna let anyone get that close to my boobs to see the writing, so <laughs> I'm gonna wear it because I like the pig. <laughs> also, don't they kind of, the word kind of just goes away under my boobs, so. All right, so this is a very ripped up Kitsune shirt. It does not fit well. I don't care. It reminds me of Miley Cyrus if I put it with the right pants and maybe the right bra, like maybe a leather bra. Ooh, that'd be fun. Also very sweaty, maybe not. But I love it, I'm keeping it. I don't know, I don't think it fits right anymore. Crop top. So I originally got this for Steven. I don't, what is it? It's, um, it's based on a book series he likes. I obviously have not read it or am a fan. But he also is losing weight and now he's having that issue where there's too much gap right here. 
Guess what? <laughs> I have gap fillers, so it's mine now. Crop top, say it with me, crop top. Uh, I have had this shirt this whole way through my entire journey, and I have never not liked it. <laughs> Something about this material, I could stretch it out and it popped right back. This is like one of my favorite shirts. And I don't know if you guys can see the design on it. It's very hard to see it, but it does remind me of kind of like a witchy woman sort of design. So I'm gonna say it's a magic shirt and I'm never getting rid of it. Yes, always yes. I think the shirt is super cute. The only thing is, is that I have been waiting to wear it for when I get some long, high-waisted, lightweight black pants. So I love it. I just need to find the pants and I have been keeping an eye out for them. So maybe this will get in my rotation more. Uh, I honestly don't know how I still own this shirt. This is a shirt that I had in my 20s. <laughs> I'm almost 40. We're talking this is a two decade old shirt. Somehow I managed not to wear it when I was overweight, probably because I wouldn't fit in, but another magical shirt. I have to keep it just because I have already kept it for 20 years almost. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to make a rule. Don't buy t-shirts, Michelle. You hate them, you hate them. So don't buy anymore. That's a rule, I put it on the internet. Not allowed to buy t-shirts anymore. No matter who you are, what your circumstances are, there will always be a struggle, and a struggle will always be real, so it's a keeper. I'm done trying on shirts, which means I can put my hair up and I won't be sweltering because of my hair. I think I might want to cut it. Every summer, I want to cut it. Let's go through like the five shorts I have, and then that'll be it. Like This isn't gonna be super interesting as far as a fashion show goes. I'm not a fashionista. This is just some stuff that's been bothering me that I'm slowly working on throughout the week, and I'm bringing you along with me. Maybe, maybe to inspire you guys to tackle the one thing that you want to tackle. But also, maybe you just want to watch TV and I've already covered that that is also okay. So, they fit, I like them, they're staying. They fit, I like them, they're staying. They fit, I like them, they're staying. I was not lying to you guys when I said I don't have a lot that I need to go through. I just needed to go through it and I've been procrastinating. So now it's done. My camera overheated. I gave it a few minutes to cool down. It is beeping at me again that it's gonna overheat. You're not gonna get to see me do the put away process. And I will see you guys in a couple hours when it's time for me to eat again. It's just too hot for the camera. It's dinner time. Uh, that means it's around 3.30 for me. Lately, I have been eating later. So that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of my meals is because I'll be eating around six and I need to get video editing done and I upload in 4K. So it takes hours, but Thanks to July, um, my upload time is being a lot shorter, so maybe I'll switch that up. But just so you guys know, I'm eating for dinner the same thing I had last night, which is ground beef, some shredded lettuce, and this is a mayo and diced tomato mixture that I made for a CLT <laughs> a few videos back. I think it was about two weeks ago. Don't worry, it's still good. The diced tomatoes I used was canned, so it's full of, pres so it's full of preservatives and mayo is full of preservatives, so it does last a little bit longer, but I do need to eat it, so it's gonna go in with the ground beef. It's gonna be like a little taco without the shell and some banana peppers. I am realizing I am obsessed with banana peppers lately, and it's great because it's not really a snacky food for me, but I do still need to be aware that it probably has considerable sodium levels, so I just throw in a few and call it a day. So I am going to cook. I'll show you the end result, but I'm gonna say goodbye now because that's all there is today. Thanks for hanging out with me, joining me, all the stuff, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.